Hey guys, the dude here. Today, I'll be unboxing the July Puzzle Crate. I just got back from US Nationals to this, so I'm pretty excited to jump right into it and see what puzzles this has. Every month, you pay $29, and then you get sent this box with some puzzles in it, and the retail value of these puzzles is actually more than the monthly fee that you would pay for Puzzle Crate. All right, so let's see what we got this month. This is a classic puzzle that has been around for about 4 years now, however not too many puzzlers have this puzzle due to its higher than average price tag. Like the name suggests, it was designed by puzzle designer Katsuhiko Akamoto in collaboration with Gregoire Fenning. It is a relatively easy solve, but it is still a fun challenge. Even the corner tips turn, but they could benefit from a drop or two of lube. Enjoy! So since I already actually have this puzzle, I will be giving this away to one of you guys. At the end of this video, I'll go over how you can win this, but for now, I'm going to leave this in the box so that you can unbox it yourself, and I'm going to pull out the one that I already have in my collection. So you can buy this puzzle on thecubicle.us for $39, whereas with Puzzle Crate, I got it for just $29. So the first thing I noticed with this puzzle is that this does not have the standard color scheme. It doesn't have your standard red, white, blue, orange, uh, green, yellow. Instead, it has sort of a Japanese color scheme, however, the green and yellow are swapped. On a normal Japanese color scheme, you'd have red, white, yellow, orange, green, blue. So in this case, yellow, uh, green and yellow are just swapped. So as I mentioned earlier, this is my own personal cube, so I've already done first turns on it. However, the turning quality has not changed much since I've actually unboxed it. So what you should expect, uh, this is a corner turning puzzle, and it's not the smoothest thing. Uh, there's a little bit of resistance when you turn it, and the harder one to turn is actually the tips. Sometimes the tips kind of get cut, Somehow, it doesn't look like it's actually getting caught, but they're a little bit of a pain to turn. And as the little pamphlet thing said within the puzzle crate box, the tips could benefit from a drop or two of lube. I have not done that yet, however, I will do that in just a second. So next to the lattice cube here, we have a standard 56 or 57 millimeter cube. This is the Huang Long M that I got from the cubicle.us. As you can tell, the lattice cube is quite a bit bigger than this. It feels a little bit bulky in your hands, however, it doesn't really get in the way of the solve. Some of the smaller triangle stickers on the edges have started peeling, such as this yellow one and this white one. So now that this thing is scrambled, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just the logos. Here you can see the Calvin Puzzle logo, and then here you have the Akimoto and Fenning logos. So this puzzle is a pretty loud puzzle. It sounds very bulky. The deeper cuts turn okay, however the tips are the ones that are the big issue. It feels like they're getting caught on something, whether it's internal or maybe they're just too tight. Even with a few drops of lube, it still did not help very much. So as many of you guys know, I have quite a big puzzle collection. I have just about 700 puzzles now, and unfortunately this is one of my worst turning puzzles. I wouldn't recommend buying this puzzle separately. However, had I bought this puzzle separately, I would have had to pay 10 more dollars. So either way, you're getting a great deal with Puzzle Crate. So now getting straight into the giveaway, if you want to win this, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below letting me know about the newest puzzle in your collection. I'll be randomly selecting a winner and then announcing them at the end of my next video. So if anybody's interested in Puzzle Crate, I'll have a link down below to where you can subscribe. Once again, it's $29 a month and I highly recommend it. Although I didn't enjoy the puzzle this month, I'm really looking forward to the puzzles in the next few months. If you end up subscribing to them or do subscribe to them, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. So a lot of you may have already noticed that this is a very different setup than what I normally do. Colleen and I are trying out a few different things with different angles, different lighting, different backdrops. So we'll be testing out a few things over the next few videos. Let us know some feedback in the comments. We want to know what you guys want to see. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching.